Okay, never mind. I think he actually lost the Zealot, not a High Templar. Lurker's gonna be forced back, but Stork doing a pretty good job of pressuring this position here. There are gonna be Lurker's moving back. We're gonna see when he gets some decent storms up with his Zealot. Uh, so gonna be able to bury in time. Let's see who actually managed to get some drone kills. Jordan gonna be pulled off the line. Storm gonna go off on the Lurker's, not killing any drones, but at least he managed to pull push those drones off the line. I think he's outnumbered at this point. Hot Templars are just going to be forced to run away. All the Zealots and Dragoon to be taking out all these forces died. So we're going to see when he manages to get off one suicidal storm before he gets killed. No, it doesn't manage to. Didn't do any sort of economic damage. Did win that early engagement, but didn't really cope very well as soon as those lurkers came and did manage to storm. But I feel he actually should have retreated and saved his army because he lost, that was the army he had, he doesn't really have much in the way of army now. At the very least because he took out that sizable that uh, control group of Hydras, uh, Jadong I don't think he's going to have enough forces to push out white yet, but he, if he does move out with his orcs, he might still put on a contain, maybe not a break, but he might still put on contain, lurker right here moving down towards the natural expansion, he's still going to get killed, uh, some zealots with speed as well. They all have speed now, Ranching. What are you talking about? Got some Zealots out there ready to engage. Pylons being put down. A couple of, uh, bunch of High Templars along with a couple of cannons at that mineral only, though. So Stork is still going to be forced to play the uh, defensive game just because his early offensive action didn't really work out too well for him. He stu is still going to have a chance to get back in this game. A storm that really didn't do much for him at all. Has some Zealots on that uh, huge ramp. Has to just be careful not to fight off that ramp with the Zealot. Pretty bad position to be in because the Hydra's going to be fired and take some decent advantage of that. Not too big a position. I don't think they actually get an advantage, height advantage from that ramp there. Uh, from that huge wide, uh, wide ramp. I don't think the elevation is high enough. But it is going to be morphing lurkers and he is going to be able to start to cont contain on that mineral only. So Stork's going to have to do some pretty nice micro there. going to start off by picking off some of these pylons. Ult's going to be able to attack these probes. Ready to do some economic damage. Forcing Stork to not mine from two of those mineral patches. Bye! Oh, look at those dragoons. Bunch of dragoons moving out now. His weapon one upgrades. Don't think he has any anything else for now. But I don't even... Uh, let's see. Observers, observers. I don't even sure if he has observers out there. If he doesn't have observers, he's going to be in a lot of trouble against his look. He should have some observers coming up fairly soon. Uh, for the meantime, he's going to need some insane storms. He does have a Observers out in the field, but we're going to need to get some high, good storms off along alongside using his roots. Well, some Zerg is going to be able to move out here. Hydras from the south. We're going to see whether he engages these Dragoons. Dragoons uh, caught a little bit out of position. A lot of open area for the Hydras to come in and take advantage of, but there was a decent storm. Get another very nice storm for Stork, catching a lot of these Hydras. Just that one single storm might actually uh, help him hold this off. Heads on the Dartempars on the field as well, coming in from the back. Uh, Dragoons trying to open up the position as well, just a little bit so he can move down this ramp. Some decent storms by Stork, I gotta say, using his storms really at the storms at the very, at the moment his storms are what are saving him in these engagements, are what keeping him in this game for now. Pushing, finally managing to push Jadong back. Uh, Jadong tried to put down some pressure, tried to put on contain, gonna get loose some lurkers as they move south in transition. Also gonna move his lurkers away from the mineral only. Did do some decent damage then, but he needs the troops at another location. Jadong's troops at the south, Storks at the north. He's very Dragoon heavy, had some Zealot in to take some early hits. If he still managed to get some decent storms off, I didn't really see that many High Templars in that grouping there. If he needs some more storms, he wants to continue engaging there, but I think he has enough Zealots and Dragoons for now to engage uh, this Hydra Lurker grouping. Gonna be Lurkers on the bridge on the top. We're gonna see whether it's gonna be a trap. Oh god, there's gonna be a lot of damage. No, Lurkers not yet firing. Stork gonna be a lot of trouble. Oh! Shots going off, do some decent damage to Dragoons. Yeah, Stork looking very surprised. Heavy damage, even though he only lost a few Dragoons, still heavy damage done to all of his troops. Hydra's coming in from the south. He did manage to clean up all those Orcas, but Zergling's coming in from the, from the north. Hydra's from the south. He's all around surrounded. I think this entire group might get lost. He has some Zealot reinforcements coming in. He has a one single Archon also to engage, but he doesn't have any storms. He can eat some storms. Finally, the High Templar are coming in. They're going to storm the Lurkers. So the least, actually, Stork managing barely with those last minute reinforcements to possibly save his group, losing his Archon there. Only a few Dragoons there. Some of them getting stuck and surrounded. Oh, a lot of them lost. High Vimo now up for uh, Jadong. Stork producing a bunch of High Templar alongside those Zealots. Those storms really what are going to be forced to keep Stork in the game. Jadong has picked up a 6 o'clock base while Jadon, uh, while Stork, I'm sorry, Jadon has picked up a 6 o'clock base while Stork is still sitting on those three. He really needs to pick up that upper left hand. That's what he's doing, putting a pile on there. I think that uh, Jadon doesn't quite know it, but he does have an overward in that position, but I think that Pro might have snuck past the over, uh, Observer meanwhile coming down to the 6 o'clock. There are a couple of sunken colonies being put there, so Jadon being very careful to defend it right away. 
because he knows that six o'clock is going to be a little bit vulnerable early on. Overlord losing its life there. No, only Stork going to come in. A lot of good storms. Sorry, Jano coming in. A lot of good storms by Stork, though. Picking off a lot of those. For another nice more storms. Wow, look at those storms just melting all those Zerg forces. Uh, many of them before even some of the Zealots managed to come and engage. So nice use of storms there. Morphing him instantly to Archon. You know, a couple of full tank comes coming up at the upper left hand position before he puts down a Nexus there. And uh, Jadong hunkering down at 6 o'clock. He's going to go that Stork's taking out their upper left hand. He's not really going to be able to do anything about it for quite some time. Does have some forces near the middle. Both players do actually. But uh, Jan is not going to be able to stream any reinforcements from the 6 o'clock quite yet. He's going to want to uh, set up his production there before he can really manage to do that. He does have Hive Tick up though. So I'm wondering whether we're going to see some Depowers in play fairly soon. I assume that is the case. Let's see, upgrades wise, Jadong is 1-1 on one, one all his ground forces. I don't, want, not quite sure how the Hydras are. Zerglings meanwhile did manage to find an opening. Are going to move towards the upper left hand. We're going to see what they actually manage. Are crack upgraded. Are going to force a cancel on that Nexus. So that's a loss to Jadong, uh, to Stork a little bit there. I keep confusing you guys together. They're so epic that, you know, they're just awesome. Let's see. Okay, 2-2 two, two upgrades on the Hydras. Two Carapace, one weapons, one on the Zergis. Meanwhile, armor, one, and weapons, two on all of Stork's uh, ground forces. So, still has a pretty nice comprised army. Has some high Templars alongside Zealots and Archons. They're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. Meanwhile, I saw the Devourer Den at Jadong's base. Uh, okay, Jadong, they're surrounding a couple of Zealots. They're sitting in, in no man's land. One Zealot, meanwhile, running back. Yet again, going to put up a bunch of cannons in the upper left hand position and going to put down a Nexus there. He still has a chance to get back into this game. He's he's, he is a little bit behind, I feel. But he's managed to keep himself well in this game by some very nice storms, some nice engagements, and he really hasn't done any economic damage to Stork this entire time. I feel he needs to pick up a base. If he manages to pick off that 6 o'clock position, fight an opening, pick that off, he will be able to get back in this game. But the problem with engaging at the 6 o'clock is that if he goes for it, if he forces himself into the 6 o'clock, he's going to be finding himself being completely bust, uh, locked in with all these forces. Another game from coming here. I think Jadong might not commit too hardly to this. He's going to be coming with his Hydra Storm instantly as soon as that happens. Had some Zerglings in the lower left. I think he actually dropped those in there. Overlords have speed for a long time. They'll probably have dropped at this point. Another Storm picking off a lot of Hydras. Jadong, oh, just... Getting hit by those storms very heavily. Meanwhile, more reinforcements coming in. Very Zergling heavy alongside Hardras. I'm actually very interesting army. Uh, very interesting army for him here. Uh, crack upgraded. Zerglings alongside Hydras. Haven't seen any defa defowers from me. I assume they're going to be there. But I think what he's doing for now, he's trying to save a little bit of gas. Going very Zerglings heavy. Yet again, going to go for the upper left hand. A lot of pros being caught in transition. They're all going to get slaughtered. Only a few pros managed to go up to the upper left before anything happens there. Meanwhile, Stork also engaging at the 12 o'clock, but Jadon's still doing a good job. Stork does manage to prevent for now the assault at the upper left, thanks to those cannons, because Jadon doesn't have also that high temple in position, but Jadon doesn't have any devourers yet, so no Dark Storm gonna Dark Swarm gonna come off. Nice storm there by Stork as well, preventing Jadon from doing anything at this base, putting a lot of cannons in a nice surround position uh, at that Nexus. But yeah, Jadon is not gonna manage anything at that upper left hand until he gets Dark swarms off. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Oh, nice elevator slash drop here by Strix. And put a bunch of zealots at the upper left hand. These might do a lot of damage. Gonna go in, try to kill something. Uh, not really much in the way of mining happening at the upper left right hand base. There is some mining, but he's gonna start off by picking off that spawning pool. That's gonna instantly stop production of uh, Jadong's currently most used forces. They're gonna force on the tech. Probably, gonna, yeah, definitely gonna be able to take off the defiler mount. This is a big loss for Jadong. Very nice special forces troop there. But Jadong, meanwhile, he's gonna counter it with his own. Gonna go for for a drop at the lower weapon position. Not really any mining going on there. Some cannons, but he's gonna go for the tech. They're gonna have some, some dark swarms off. He's gonna take pick off the Nexus. Probably actually gonna be able to kill everything here. There are high Templars moving south to pick some stuff up. Jadong, meanwhile, has no answer at his own main, so he decided to go for the counter attack. It's just a counter question of who takes picks off more attack. He's also killing drones at that position. Uh, depending on who rescues who, finally some forces coming in for Jadon to pick that off. He also has some Zerglings moving out, trying to uh, probably go for the upper left hand position. 
but I think actually this all, all in all has been a slightly bigger, uh, I don't know if Stork has really lost all of his tech yet, very big loss for Jangler because he lost his Defiler Mount, he lost his Spawning Pool, he's going to have to re be rebuilding that, does have to be some Defilers out in the field, but still he's going to not be able to produce any for a little bit, and never mind, already has a second Defiler uh, den up, Defiler Mount part, but still overall, not too good a position, I think uh, Stork Manuel has rescued, managed to, yeah, did manage to rescue, it seems like without any heavy damage, uh, don't think he lost the Temple Archives or a Citadel. For, I'm not really sure if he lost anything. Might have lost. Don't know. Actually, I don't think he lost anything.